another amazing day just started. I wake up at any time I want to do my morning routine and start working. I make money working from home as a freelancer or even a business owner. And I usually talk with my clients and run a music video production, send some edits to the editor, learn new marketing tools and plan another shooting day. Sometimes it's very hard even I don't have a boss above me who is saying what I should to do step by step. If I'm too lazy and prefer watch Netflix instead of hard working, nobody charges me for that. And if I'm hungry, there is a few steps to the kitchen. It feels like that my success depends on me. And I'm happy with that. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ari and welcome back on this YouTube channel. I've been working as a freelancer almost my whole life and I remember that I worked for someone else just a few months. It was in Russia, the country when I went from and I work as a local newspaper photographer in a small city called It's gonna be a little bit difficult for you. It's called Zerzhensky. And my another experience happened here in the USA when I didn't have much opportunities and I work in a moving company and on delivery company. I remember like those times we were literally crazy at the beginning but were interesting and quitting my job was the most challenging thing that I have ever done in my life and it could be the same for you. Anyway, it feels really amazing where you're working for yourself, have a business that's like a baby because you have a specific idea, clients and service that you want to improve every time. And I think there is much more opportunities and challenges when you have a business. So today we're gonna talk about how to quit your job and work as a freelancer to make your first money. Watch this video until the end and let's start. Before I tell you about some proofs and what I've learned through my experience when I was quitting my job, let's talk about if freelancing is for everyone. Well, we all know this type of people who has hundreds of subscribers on YouTube and Instagram. They're able to make cool content and travel around the world. When you just wake up or on your way to your job, this person go to the gym with his friend or, you know, just chilling on the swimming pool. And it looks like they're having a big pleasure instead of hard working and these people are still get paid, right? Many of us are thinking at this moment, like, I want to have a similar lifestyle, but to be honest, guys, we usually don't know anything about their life and kind of weird to think that you know those guys are chilling every day while normal people are making money. We need to understand that everyone has a personal story and quitting a job is not a way to avoid facing problems in your life. This is not a solution if you are just unhappy and want to change even something in your life. And I would say more, unfortunately quitting a job could be potentially make your life even worse. And I'm gonna tell you my story when I was financially broke. So watch this video until the end and never do my mistakes. If you're new on my YouTube channel, let me tell you a few words about myself. You already know that I moved to the USA from Russia because of our dangerous government and politics. And I always knew that I didn't want to have a traditional path in life. And I'm talking about a stable job five days per week and drink, you know, every Friday with my friends or so, get married, house, kids and all this stuff of traditional life. But I didn't mean that it's like very bad or like you don't have to have it. No, this is not what I'm talking about. I'm meaning that similar lifestyle can be potentially boring exactly for me, but I know many people who is happy to have all this stuff, so maybe it works for you as well. Anyway, you can work as a freelancer and still have a family, kids and a house. Yeah, it's not like a goat mode when you're just alone and just making money, ignoring the real life. This is more about a comfortable life when you can change your schedule, have different good habits, be successful and do really whatever you want. And it comes with many opportunities. When I finished the university, I was looking for a job as a director or as a cameraman, but nobody wants to hire a young man without any experience in the industry. By the way, most of my classmates decided to work as editors for the TV companies in Moscow, but I felt like this is not what I really want to do. And we're finally going to know my first lesson that I learned in the industry, and it's called diversification. As a young student, I had a diploma as a movie director, but I was able to work with my own camera, record some sound, or even to edit a video. Like, I was trying to understand about the process, you know, as much as possible, make it better every time, and learn 
more. And this is what I love about education. Because it's educate. And I always love to film everything around me without any money making at the beginning of my career. So these skills were very important and helpful to become a full-time freelancer in a couple of years later. Even when you're busy and work or study every day, every man has a habit. If you don't have a habit, that's okay, but it also means that you spend your time for something different. And if you ask yourself about the thing that wastes your time, you would get an answer how to change your life, uh, how to change your habits or even be more productive because when you know what exactly and why you are doing it, so you know your goals and just follow them. So if you feel like it's enough for you and you're going to quit your job, you need to look at your savings account and then just make a decision. Because the most important question is how much money do you spend per month and how many months do you have in your pocket right now? So maybe you can find some time to live on your savings and become a freelancer or find another job. Forbes advisor writes that three or six months of expenses safe is a general rule and it depends on your lifestyle. Finding the right amount of money to keep in savings starts with understanding your expenses. Fixed expenses can be regularly from one month to another and this may also be your most important bills that you need to add. And look at the screen right now, this is what we have, whatever you live in on this planet. You have to live somewhere, you have to uh, pay for your food, you have to pay for your transportation and stuff like that. And guys, I make two videos early about cost of living in Los Angeles and Miami. Watch this video if you're interested in uh, how much would you pay per month in these cities as a single person or as a family. I lived in LA for two years and now I live in Miami for some time. So both cities have different expenses. I was able to move from California to Florida just because I had some savings in my bank account. I don't remember the correct number, but it was around six or seven months before I should to find another income in a new state. So following this simple idea, we can be always sure that everything is under our control. We are financially in a good level and that uh, we have enough savings to make our life more comfortable. Alright, so now we know that we need to learn more skills and try to diversify our knowledge about different parts of life. We also know that we need to have 6 or 12 months of savings in our bank account. If you understand watching this video that you can find some time to learn something new in your life, to improve your skills and stuff like that, maybe you can find some new habits in your life. So there are many internet places where you can find pay job. You can do so many different things such as working with documents or emails, internet marketing, editing videos or programming, or even make a logo for a battery. And going through these websites, I'm just understanding that one person can work in different niche and with many clients. Because if you look at these offers, it works as a project, so you can work on one specific thing finish this and start another project. If you have a regular job five days per week, some of the tasks that your boss gives you every time, it can be very difficult to understand as a full product or process, just because it's so big and so massive sometimes, so you can even don't know what you're working on and you're just doing some stuff. But if you work directly with a client who tells you about the project a little bit more or what they want to get, so it feels absolutely different and I would say you can be even more productive because now you can see the progress and you know that you're uh, working on something very specific. And again, you can start with these little projects uh, that don't take much time as your main job, but you still get paid for this. And I would recommend to take a look on your service and especially if you work with a client without a third party. And let me, let me explain you why. If you don't have anyone above you, so you need to understand that now you're more responsible and uh, more things depends on your activity. For example, my video production makes music video and commercial videos. And we have a few editors in our team. And I can see that if a client, you know, is a difficult person who wants to change everything again and again, and some many edits to my company, sometimes I can read a very funny feedback from my editors about how hard to fix this or that thing. And if I send this video directly to my client, he probably wouldn't be very happy with this. Or if a client has something very specific that he can, you know, even explain to me, I should understand what he means and use some professional words to describe a problem and find a solution before I will send this edit to the editor. So step by step, you figure out more about people relationship, different clients and their projects. I would say that for me it was hard enough to never show my emotions or if I'm not in the mood because of crazy edits, clients or something else that makes me, you know, just different. Quitting your job will probably not make your life much easier. At the beginning, if you don't have any clients and income, everything seems very hard. 
to be honest guys, especially just to start doing it. What exactly do you plan to do and how exactly you want to achieve your goals? We can go deeper and ask ourselves how is success even look like for us? It's you know your first money from a side job or maybe a number of new followers on social media or just a new project that doesn't make any money for you but experience that you're getting right now it's really huge. And for me it was filmmaking and we have clients that are very happy to work with us but when I was starting I didn't even understand how and where I should find clients. I'm making this video because I believe that everyone on this planet can do whatever this person wants but we also need to know how to monetize or how are we going to make our money exactly and if you are having trouble answering some basic questions like this then I think we need to make it more clear it could sound very simple or even boring but this is like a foundation for us without this part every business goes very hard so guys I wouldn't recommend to quit your main job if you can answer on this simple question and if you can that's all right so this is why you're watching this YouTube channel because because I really try to share my thoughts and experience. When I was starting, my only thoughts were about money. Simple enough, right? And if you're quitting a job, you probably know what I mean right now. Because people don't quit their job just for fun, it's a wild jungle and you don't even have a knife or a fire. We need to be ready for a new life and create these opportunities. And for example, another reason why I make videos for YouTube is that I want to improve my English because I wasn't born in this country. And also I try to create a personal brand with people who will support my ideas and videos in the future so I could make them you know, more happier and educated as well. When I'm shooting this video, YouTube doesn't pay me even a penny, but I know that I need to create more good content and people will be following me. So what I'm doing right now is creating a new world. And I wouldn't quit my freelance job just to start making videos for YouTube. It's kind of stupid to do something like this because you can be sure that you will be successful in a few months and make some money from this platform or like another platform. But of course you need to believe in this and just keep working. Don't quit your job unless you can get enough money from your side job or business. This moment is amazing because you understand that your ideas really work work and generate some money. So I would recommend to start hustling before you quit your main job. It means your evening after work, your weekends or any another time when you're available. Yes, it doesn't sound easy, but as long as you're working very hard on your hustle job, very soon you get what is really important for you. Money, supporting people around you and even some free time when all the process that are work great. So if you will be following these simple rules, the entire process will be much smoother for you if you can do this well in advance and it works great together with your savings. Another important thing is to save as much money as possible and when I came to the USA I was very surprised how many people have different debts, car and credits, you know, this kind of things. And a few years later I became one of them and now I'm fighting with some of my life expenses. So I made a video earlier about why you should save and invest some money so please check it out as well if you're interested in this. And these are all the things that I wanted to tell you Today. Thank you so much for your watching and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really supports me and I'll see you next time guys. Stay welcome.